Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see behind me we're in a little bit of a different surrounding because we've headed up to the Christmas market at Bakewell and no we're not buying and we're not selling. The reason we're here, the guy behind the camera that we'll introduce you to in a minute, I'm doing a little bit of haulage because I've come to buy or try and buy some Christmas cattle. Let's do a really cool one and see how it all works on the stock, sheep, cattle. Right, let's go on to it. Hope you enjoy. So we're straight into the cattle. Today I'm with Nigel and Ash. You probably recognise Ash. I'll introduce you in a second. In a second. He did some butchery videos with me a couple of years ago. But today they're looking for a couple of cattle to go into their shop, which is where we send our lambs at home. As said before, we're doing the haulage today, so whatever they buy, I'm taking home. Um, it's just a bit loud because they're weighing cattle through there. These are some of the show cows, so these are all pedigrees, some are commercial, there's a few more over there. So behind us here, this is the champion from last night. Right, so we've just headed over to the sheep away from the cattle. We haven't introduced him yet and he's trying to walk away from camera, but here with Ash, who are here say from NJ and ET Coles. So here's where all the lamb goes to and say you're after some cattle, aren't you? We are indeed. Ideally a couple. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. It's and what kind of stuff are you looking for? Lim limmy kind of? Limmy, limmy cross. Yeah. Nice, nice plastic. Yeah. Nice round bums. Yeah. Fat <laughs> bellies. The perfect beast. The perfect beast. <laughs> perfect for Christmas. That's it. Yeah. So, we have a quick look around this evening and go back over to the cat, which is a bit noisy over there at the moment. So, uh, we're going to leave people to clean and stuff, but there's loads of sheep in. Literally, if we come through here, we have a lot of cool ewes. So, so these are all the ewes that are a bit too tired. These are what people have gotten rid of, which aren't good for breeding anymore. And then over there, we're onto the really nice prime lamb. So just like here, we have a really nice pen. And they've had a show on, as I said earlier today. So all these got judged last night. We came down last night, didn't we? And had a little bit of luck. So they've split them up into lights, mediums, heavies, to different weight categories and judged them too. And now they're in the middle of selling them. It looks like the price is all right. We saw a pen of bell taxi things up 370, but the average is probably just over 300 pence a kilo. So we'll have a look, see what we see. We've found what Ash wants now, aren't we? <laughs> Your favourite sheep. Yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm good. laughs> 300, 2, 4, 304, So we're back from the sheep onto the cattle. We have some store cattle and more commercial types, so less. Is that right? Yeah. And then here are the show cattle, just down here. So these are the ones you'll see. They've all got their rosettes on from last night. We did see and have a chat to the guys that won the champion earlier. I even had to get roped in to help take a photo. But um, yeah, these line up ready to go through the ring. There is three rings if you count the sheep going in one. There's the prime stock stores and that. And then there's uh, the calf installed as well. Yeah, there's a lot going on today. So this is a Christmas market, normally the biggest market of the year. That's why the numbers probably Apart from store sales of sheep, it'll be the biggest sale of the year. Yeah. Really nice Have you got any particular pens that have caught your eye, or do you want me not to say that too loud? Oh, I'm not sure you <laughs> <laughs> So Nigel, Ash was 
tell me what he likes. What What are you looking for in one of these? What's the kind of beast that you like? Confirmation. Yep. No more than 500 kilos. Yeah, yeah. Because they're a shop of a proper shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can sneak over by 10 kilos, but after that, you're getting too much for the Lord. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and as long as they're finished, they've yeah, got yeah. a good top on them, a little bit of cover. Cool. So they're normally a sheep, but obviously today is not it's based around the cattle. These gingery coloured ones for the people not in the livestock sector, they tend to be like a limmy or a limousin, whereas normally they tend to be in the fat stock to be limousins, they'll be Belgian sorry, British blues, Anguses and short horns and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So these tend to prefer the limits just because they're slightly leaner. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, the, the ball has got a noise with the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You pay for your meat, not for the Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas some of the native bread stuff, the meat to bone ratio will be a lot lower, so some people prefer that kind of stuff. So the bone to meat ratio is a lot better, a bit like the sheep. These aren't. A Belgian blue is probably similar to a bell pet. I say a limmy is a bit like a pet yeah. kind of thing. If you people on the channel are more in terms of sheep, then like a Hereford is probably a bit more like a blue. So in here, these aren't the show cattle, but we're just talking about weights of the cattle. And actually, this one will be about 650. And why that differs, or more, and why that differs to what you'd want at 550 and why there's different markets. So it's just simply as a guide. Yeah, yeah. We just put the back end into a kitchen. Yeah. Out. So you make it that in four dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas on our smaller beaks, because yeah. obviously you've only got a smaller top, yeah. you'd only really be able to put it into three. Yeah. And then after that, the old deer tree yeah. up to ten pounds yeah. you're gonna get a steak, it's gonna get something for a Sunday dinner. Yeah. Uh, Where this should be two big for the average yeah. person. Yeah. A restaurant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the spars, so yeah. And away you go. Whereas in a shop, yeah. it's not the same. Yeah. 
Come to a quick look of people loading up. Unfortunately, we haven't got anything to load up ourselves. They just went a bit silly price wise. Like those little heifers, seems to be what everyone wanted. They, they really did, and it was, a, it was a good battle, but. Yeah. No, we got some shots of your bidding. You tried hard, but <laughs> I think some of them were just willing to lose money on them pretty much because it I mean, gets the a point. as well. Yeah. That was yeah, nine Absolutely. pence, sorry, nine Absolutely. pence, nine pound a kilo, that's got four and a half grand or even more than that, which yeah. is crazy. But no, it's been a fun day out. I've really enjoyed it having a look around. Don't know we get to come around bait, but it's been quite a while. I feel bad for us because they haven't got anything, but you are, they see going to head up to Bridge North. They're going up to Bridge North, so hopefully, fingers crossed for them, they get something, but they will get to it. They will get to it. They will. So, right, I'll see you next time, and thank you for watching.